Hello, this is Nazi Zombies played by complete amateurs. Now, we aren't a great team at the best of times, but we really struggled with this map. It, it is it's difficult, and to be honest, we just kept dying again and again and again. So this was the best attempt we had. I think we got to round 10, which for us is decent because we suck. We are average gamers. We do represent the average population. We aren't the spectacular performers you see on YouTube. Uh, and I admire them, I wish I was as good as them, and hopefully I will improve my standard to make my videos more watchable. Um, so anyway, th this bit's quite difficult at the start. Our idea here was to go around the map as a little group, like a, an organised unit, and um, we, we failed miserably. Uh, two guys pussied out and ran to the teleporter, they, they couldn't take the heat. Uh, another guy, he's a bit of a hero, he, he tried to circle with me, you know. And, um, unfortunately, we couldn't really sync ourselves with each other. And, um, one guy was on one side of the map, and the other guy was on the opposite side. And the two trains of zombies would just collide, and we got confused, and we screwed up, basically. Let's face it. Um, I recommend that when you're doing this, that you... Because, in this, in this circle, you really have no choice but to go through the swamp part in the centre occasionally. Um, so always be sure to jump over that uh, and also make sure that you, you're really careful when you're going through the caged area Because I've got trapped there a few times now now I'm not the best in the world when it comes to kiting looping whatever you want to call it uh, I think the best I've ever done is round 33 in Kino to Toten, which is uh, really average There's nothing to, to boast about to be honest So here I finally come towards the end feeling like a bit of a hero I throw some really bad nades here. I think there's one I throw outside the map because I'm determined not to kill anyone. It's just the way I roll. So I come through to the teleporter. Now, I love the way it goes from a really noisy environment to this complete silence. I think that's a great effect. Now, I think you see me here throwing some quantum entanglement devices. I love these things. I think they're a great addition to the game. I love the fact that they, they produce a random effect every time. So far, I've seen I've seen that the standard explosion. I think you see it there. It's like a white uh, decompression boom, same as the uh, the cosmonaut exploding. Uh, we have the ray gun turret. That's quite cool. I think I've heard that you can pick it up if you get it in time. Perhaps someone could confirm that. I've also seen uh, the bonus points. And there is another one. I don't know if this is just in my head or if I imagined it or if I'm just insane. But I think someone got revived once by this QED. I threw it down and this guy just popped up. I was like, hello, success. Uh, yeah, I do love this map. It's brilliant. I think it's probably my second favourite after Doris. Uh, I like Doris purely because it's it's easy. It's, uh, it's nice and relaxing for camping and letting better players get the kills for you. Uh, I'm sorry to admit that, but it's just the way I play the game. I, I like relaxing and... Uh, this map is pretty intense compared, but it's still amazing. I love I love the sound effects. I love the fact that if you shoot a zombie, they do like a little backflip and just fly off into space. <laughs> that is just incredible. Um, I love the effects on this map. I always really love the uh, the effort that Treyarch puts into their zombie maps. Okay, perhaps their multiplayer isn't the best. Perhaps it doesn't stand up to Infinity Ward's efforts, but it's really it's really good fun. I love the humor and the art design and all the little secret story morsels that they've hidden in there. Really good fun. Um, I think it'd be really good if they make a standalone game for this, just you know, a pure Nazi Zombies game. I think this is the opinion of a lot of people, to be honest. Now, Activision has got quite a few developers under its wing. Maybe you could use one of these to make the new Zombies game. Treyarch's busy, supposedly, with Black Ops 2. Does this mean this is the end of Nazi Zombies for Treyarch? I, I don't know yet. Um, hopefully not. I mean, what they did was really good. I think that's. I think they're better at making zombies than they are the standard Call of Duty game, to be honest. I think that the campaign was over the top, a bit cheesy. Uh, the multiplayer was very balanced. I like that aspect of it, but it was zombies where Treyarch really shines. I think it should be them who make this zombie game, if it ever is made. So this is the end of the game. This is where I just wimp out and run away from my team, leaving them to die because I am scum. Uh, this is the one part of this map I don't like too much, and these are the uh, the launch pads. I find that you have to aim your body to hit them correctly, and 
this has led me to die quite a few times. Perhaps if you should just automatically land on them every time, just to save you thinking about the movement aspect, or maybe that's the challenge of it, I don't know. But anyway, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.